Hey guys, Jackson Savvy here. And today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to extract, download, and basically browse the sound files within Apex Legends. Now, I was wanting some of these sound files to do a content video. And nobody seemed to have any good downloads, and it was hell trying to, you know, get gameplay, uh, record it, convert it, all that good stuff. So I stumbled across this Zen Hacks forum. And this thread had quite a few people who we've got to give props to that were wanting the same thing. And finally, a user by the name of Lixie had posted something in GitHub. In the thread here, they told us what it could do and everything. And the GitHub repository, and I'll have links to all this, uh, had a download. Now, uh, if you're on this page, you can download the version 1 beta. And I think there's actually already like 18 hours later a beta 2. But the reason we're linking all this is because by the time you watch this, there may be easier ways to do this. But as of the time it's, or as of the date, it's July 13th, 2019. This particular program, or this little script that they put together, will scrape the entire Apex folder, even if it's been updated, and be able to extract, play, download the sound files. So very relevant even for the long term. But there are a few caveats with it. So we're going to go through how to actually do this. So like I said, we'll have links to all these. But we'll start out by going to the release page. And click on the EXE to download it. Now, actually, go ahead and open it from wherever you downloaded it. Put show in folder. And within your downloads... Make sure you right click on it, go to properties, hit unblock, apply, and OK. Now that's before we're even moving it. You want to make sure that it can actually access Windows, it's not blocked by anything. So pull that off side. Let's get these off of here. So now you've got your download, and let's open a new instance of File Explorer, which I've got Apex open here so we'll start off right here now wherever apex or origin is installed on your computer is where we're going to be going so on mine is the local disk c program files x86 uh origin games not just origin origin games apex now you'll see all of these files on mine you will not see all these at the top I've actually used that program to extract the audio files that I wanted to right here. Now, you'll see I've got MSD right here, which is what we downloaded. So you'll be taking it and dragging and dropping it into this Apex folder. Make sure when you drag and drop it, you don't put it in one of these folders. It's got to be in the core directory here. So if you see R5 Apex, you're in the right place. Just drag it above that somewhere. Now... Let's just say all you did was double click on this. It's not how it's made to run, but this will let you play actual audio clips. So it'll it'll come in handy later if you're wanting to kind of preview before you download a certain set. And I think there's around 32,000. So within this instance, I'm looking at numbers 1 through about 32,000. Let's say I want to play number 5,000. Extended energy mag here. You hear that's a Bangalore clip. It'll play it for you. But from right here, you can't just double click and do all the stuff that you need to as far as downloading, extracting, listing. We actually have to open a regular command prompt for that. So let's close this out. And we'll pull that closed. So let's open up a command prompt. Administrative command prompt. And now we actually need to navigate over to that Apex folder so that Windows command prompt will run within that. So let's uh, pull up our file explorer where we had Apex. And wherever you put that MSD folder, you can go ahead and right click at the top here, right here, and copy address as text. Now we're going to navigate our command prompt to that. So hit CD for change directory space, and then right-click or Control-V to paste in that address. And now see that we're within 
that actual folder because we're going to be running these commands from within here. And if we actually went any farther, like into the audio folder, there's certain uh, DOLs and bins here it needs to hit to be able to run. So make sure you're in the right place. Make sure it's to the Apex folder. Now we can run these commands. So if we were to run the MSD space dash L to list them all, we'll show you a little problem that happens within command prompt. You can see it's listing them all. It went started at one and it's running all the way through 13,306. Everything sounds good, but if you look, Command prompt can only display so many, and it's not dependent on how long your window is here. So even if I were to go into properties of the command prompt and change the screen buffer size to the max, which is 9999, it's not going to display 32,000 entries. So what we want to do here is actually go ahead and you can hit Control C if you went through that list. We want to go ahead and export this to a list. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run that MSD command if I click in there. So let's do that command again. MSD space dash L space greater than sign and now we're going to tell it where to put this list of all those entries at. And we're going to keep it real simple here and I can't remember if quotations are needed in this context or not but it'll be quotation. I'm going to put it straight to my C drive. C colon uh, backslash output dot txt and quotation. Now this is telling it to run this command and then put everything it finds in a text file and I'm telling it to put it just right at my C drive. So when you hit enter, um, if you get a message that access is denied, you're not in an admin or administrative command prompt, or you didn't unblock that file. But if you hit enter and you see it just go right back to the command line, then it's actually completed. So you can go to where it was saved, local disk C, and now you'll see output, a text document that was created at the same time. Double click on that. There's the full list. Now the reason this is relevant is like in my case, I wanted the Bangalore sound lines for certain things. And you can start to see her name. See Bangalore. And you can keep scrolling through to see where it begins and ends. That's going to be relevant when we get to what you're wanting to download, what's important to you, or what you're needing precisely. So now we've got a list. You've gone through, you've picked out some ones you wanted. So let's say you just wanted to do a certain, a certain download. While we're doing this, I'm going to go ahead and pull up because this is going to dump them in the same place the MSD folder is stored, which you remember is Program Files x86 Origin Games Apex. So let's say I went ahead and did that, found one I wanted. Uh, Let's say I wanted uh, Bangalore's voice line that says uh, need body, body shield. There's quite a few of them. And once again, if you wanted to preview these, you can double click on the MSD program within the Apex folder. So let's say, how about the need ammo? 5448. That will be the event ID. I need an extended light magazine. Doesn't sound bad. And there's multiple variations of it. Uh, based on her urgency and calmness, I guess, whatever's going on. But let's say we were happy with that. I can go ahead and close that, go back to this window, and do MSD space, and this is just to download one single one, and then put in the event ID, 5448. Hit enter. I need an extended light magazine. And it has to play before it extracts it. So once it plays, extracts, um, you'll see it down here. It won't have the event ID anymore, but it will have the actual name of it. And it'll put it in the Apex folder where your MSD is stored. Now, last thing is, 
Let's say you want a whole range of them so that you can just have them, go through them, whatever you need to. You'll notice this command here uh, has event ID start, event ID end to dump a whole range. Now, when we put these in, you won't need anything but the two event IDs, which you've got a list of. So let's say I wanted, you know, 20 of these or so. We'll actually just do about three. Say I wanted 5471 through 5473 about the body shields. That command, msd, space, can you remember the numbers I said now? Let's just do 5470 through 5473. So you have msd space first event ID, space second event ID. Hit enter. It's going to play body all of them. That's the only bad shield. thing. I need a body shield. And you'll see it was adding them as we went. Once it completes, you'll have them in a WAVE format. Now, if you don't want to use WAVE, there's plenty of ways to convert it online or in Adobe software. Like, that's not going to be a problem for you to figure out. But that's about it, guys. It's a bit convoluted at the moment. But once you've got your list, you've got everything in place, and you're in the right command prompt administrative, and you're navigated to the Apex directory, it's not too bad. Now, if you pull a 1,000, you might as well just you know, walk away because it's going to play every one before it can save it. But right now, at the time of recording this, there wasn't a really easier way. Nobody had a full list of downloadable mp3s or anything like that which i'm sure they will soon but yeah that's it guys i appreciate you watching if you got any questions hit me up in the comments uh i know it's i know it's a bit involved but if you need it for content creation it's there and once again thanks guys